Okay, Tim, welcome to your video tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at the surface area of prisms. A reminder, surface area is the area of all surfaces of a 3D object. So we're no longer looking at flat 2D objects, we're looking at 3D objects and we're looking to find the cumulative area of all of the surfaces. Okay, to work our surface area of a solid or a 3D shape, you need to draw a net, you need to determine the area of each shape and then add them all together. We've done this a little bit last year. Hopefully for some of you this should be a revision. You need to write this down so pause the tutorial if you need to. Okay, the first example is this one here and it says find the surface area of this rectangular prism by first drawing a net. You'll notice fun things like I only have one, two, three measurements given but one, two, three, four, five and then the bottom six face. I have six faces six faces and three measurements, it can get a little bit tricky. So the first thing we have to do is draw a net. And because I have super poor drawing skills, I made sure I just took a copy of the net rather than drawing it from scratch. You will need to draw it in your book, however. This is what the net looks like when I, um, when I expand it out. So this is the bottom. I always start by drawing the bottom first. This is the bottom. Okay, this face just here. And then I went, okay, what's off to its right? This is directly off to its right. Okay, what's off to its left? Well, then this face over here is off to its left and it's in here. Then I say, okay, attached to that left face is most definitely the top here, which is given here. Okay, and then we can't forget the other two big ones, which, were, which are this guy at the front, this front face, and the back face, which are attached to the bottom, front and back. Okay, then it's just a matter of going through and taking the measurements for each of them. Okay, so you'll notice that they are all eight. They all have, um, sorry, all the, 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 two bot the bottom and the top and the two sides all have that eight centimetre measurement in common. Okay, so you've got the bottom and the top that are two times 8.8 8 times five okay so this guy in here okay and this guy in here are both eight five sorry by eight um i can't circle that eight it's under my menu bar um and this one in here is also the same five by that eight that eight over there Okay, so there's two of them that are eight by five. Uh, the next thing that we have that's kind of really important, let me just rub some of that out so we can kind of see what we're doing. Okay, the next faces that are really important are these two in here. So we've got three, two times three by eight. Okay, and then the la last but not least, we have two, this face here and this face here that are three by five. Okay, so two times eight times five, two times three times eight, and two times three times five. Otherwise known as 80, and then the answer for this one are 48, and then six fives are 30. Okay, so the cumulative total, the surface area for these guys is 80, these guys is 48, and these guys is 30. So my grand total is 80, plus 48, plus 30, which gives me 158, I think, hold on, let's do that again, 80 plus 48, let's not do it in my head, plus 30, 158. If I give my answer like that, if I give my answer like that, I'm not going to be correct, okay? Remember, it's surface area. My original measurement was in centimetres, so I'm going to give my answer in centimetres, and it's area, so it's centimetres squared. Let's have a look at the next example. The next example is a slightly different shape. It's a triangular prism, and it says find the surface area by first drawing a net. Uh, interesting things to note this time is that you have one, two, three, the four on the bottom, and the fifth face. You have five faces here. So again, only being given four measurements, a little bit tricky if I don't draw a net. Here's the net I drew. I, I started with the base that was 10 by four. Okay, so I started with this guy here, this, 
this bottom base here. And I said, okay, what directly comes off the base? Well, it's these triangles here. Okay, and they go out, and they go out again. Okay, and then I said, what's, well, really, what's to the back of the base or the left of the base? Okay, and then I found out it was this guy here. Okay, and he is quite easily three up. Yeah, ten across. Okay, and then the last, last but not least, I had a look at this guy here, this big front one. Okay, which goes down to the right, which is that there, which is ten. Okay, by five meters going up there like that. Okay, and if I add them all together, if I have a look at them, they're they're unlike my other one. The only two measurements I have in common are the pink guys. So there's to work out the area, I have two times now you work out the area of a triangle by half the base times the height so it's half three because that's my base half three times by four okay half three times by four and I've got two of them okay and then I've got a four by ten in the middle there with the red guy then I've got a 5 by 10 with the blue face. And then I've got a 3 by 10 with the green face. Okay, so the only real tricky one in there is these pink ones or these triangles, which are half 3 times 4. Okay, and there's two of them. It's really why it's very, very important to draw a net. Okay, and if we punch in some answers for that, this top one equals 12, then obviously 40. And 50. Oh, sorry. Don't know why I wrote multiplication there. Uh, rub that out. 50 and 30, which would give me a grand total of 12 plus 40 plus 50 plus 30 equals 132. Again, if I give my answer as 132, not actually correct. My units have been in meters, so my answer is in meters, and it's surface area, so it's squared. So it's saying with that triangular prism, the cumulative area of all of its surfaces is 132 metres squared. And that's it, guys. That's surface area of prisms.